my dears and welcome to my channel so many of you who follow me on my art accounts on Instagram Facebook and Twitter ask me how do I come up with my compositions and drawing ideas and girl I'll finally be sharing my techniques with you <laughs> hopefully my hacks and tips will be super useful for you so be sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe for more videos so without further ado here's part one on how to come up with drawing ideas hack number one when drawing a character human animal or otherwise Keep their personality in mind at all times. Their mannerisms, how they move, how they speak, how they interact with others. Even when I paint a random person, I tend to give them a name in my head and start envisioning the kind of person they might be. This helps you connect to the character and gives you a better idea of how to pose and dress them. This tip is especially important when drawing characters from your story, like the cover art for my limited edition art book. Keeping these characters' personalities in mind was vital for its composition. Oh, by the way, my limited edition art book is available right now, guys, in my shop. The link is down there in the description box below. Hack number two. Draw things you find cool or interesting. Sometimes, while walking through the city, I'll see an old building or church that's super beautiful to me, and I'll take some pictures of it and all that good stuff, and when I go home, I start drawing it, and I start thinking, you know who'd look really cool in front of this building? And then a new drawing is born. This happens to me a lot. But not just with buildings, with trees, jars, old shops, unique clothing, everything. Draw what attracts you and plan a drawing around it. Number three, new art supplies. Yes, girl, oh my God, you don't even know. <laughs> Sometimes when I buy new paint, I just can't wait to try them out. OMG, yes! So I start thinking about what would be really fun to draw while using my new art supplies and boom! I start creating a new drawing. So if you're feeling uninspired, maybe treat yourself to some new art supplies and paper. Number four, music child. I can't even tell you. <laughs> Times I've been crazy lost in a song and I end up playing it on repeat for an hour at least just because the lyrics and the mood of the song inspire a drawing idea. It's the freaking best girl. Yes. Oh my god. <laughs> Wonder what kind of music inspires me? Yeah. Did I ever mention I'm really into symphonic metal? Yeah. <laughs> I get really emotional while listening to music. How about you guys? Check out my video, how artists react to music, and see if we react to music in the same way, because I cannot be the only crazy person reacting that way to music. <laughs> Number five, picking a theme. For the cover art of my published series, Sacred, the theme is always the same. So, when coming up with drawings for a cover, I focus on this theme and start sketching. You can make a theme out of anything. Colors, seasons, holidays, gemstones, animals. And by doing this, you'll have something to build on and inspire you. Also, just want to mention volume 4 of my published series, Sacred, is available right now, my boo-boos. Right there. The link is in the description box below. Remember to come back for part 2 to learn 5 more fun techniques for creating drawing ideas. So think about what we spoke about today and try them out and tell me what you think. So until next time, take care, God bless, and do not be afraid to nerd out. Okay, um... I, I regret my purchase. This <laughs> is a little spooky for me. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? Is it magnets? <laughs> Psycho? <laughs>